All right, what's up, my friends? We just had a, a, a failed experiment. One of the decks I built didn't actually work. Uh, you can look for that outtake on YouTube because uh, the, the, the combo didn't work. But that's okay. Let's run to our next deck. So I built 10 decks for a uh, <clears throat> new War of Spark standard. This deck is pretty exciting. We're trying out the prolifer proliferate mechanic. I can't speak. And this mechanic is actually a really powerful mechanic. And we're trying to push it to the maximum here. Um, almost like a modern style deck. Um, we're playing essentially a bunch of Arcbound workers. Uh, one ones for one that can go to the counter. This, they can obviously be played for more. This card's actually really, really good. Uh, Ugin's Conjurant. Reminiscent of the Phantom Creatures from the Judgment expansion a million years ago. You play this as a 3-3, three, three, it blocks a 3-3 three, three, and just turns into a 2-2. Two, two. That's like pretty good. This card's very good against red. Definitely like a like a, an underrated magic card. And then it's doing exactly what we want it to do. What well, does this card not work either? I can't read any cards. I'm done. I'm done. I can't read. Whatever. It still does what it still does what we want it to do. God. That would have been really good. I thought it was a phantom. Sheep's over, everyone go home. I can't read. I'm illiterate. I don't actually read magic cards. I just look at them, and they do what I want them. They do in my head what I want them to do. Really? Yeah, it says that many. Whatever. It honestly doesn't matter because we would play it if it was a crappy one one anyway. So it's it's still like it's chamber sentry is much 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 worse than Uger's Conju Ugin's conjurant. Um, in this deck, I guess it's not even worse. I don't even know. This card's really bad. Whatever. It's fine. It's not a big deal. The A 1-1 one, one for 1 with a counter on it is all we need. That's what we're doing. We're playing a pro proliferate deck. Our goal is just to have every creature have counters on it and then proliferate every turn using cards like Watley's Raptor, <laughs> Grateful Apparition, and Evolution Sage. Uh, Johnny's insane. Loxodon's great. Pell Collector just he gets a counter on it, which is fine. Um, Land of Elves is great. Impulse helps find our cards. We're we're pushing the theme here. This is definitely a hardcore, like full on theme deck. We have no removal spells. This probably is not going to work in this initial sense, um, but we're going to get a feel for how good the proliferate mechanic is. Um, man, I'm really really sad about that. The wolf cost four mana. That card sucks. No, the conjurant's actually still good. Like it's it's still a card we want. We just want a one mana creature that gets a counter on it. Um Pollen Right Druid is just worse than these cards, I think. Okay. That's the deck. We're gonna play now. And hopefully things work. We're gonna play a more serious deck after this. I promise. Aw, oh, crap. I'm playing it Sparky again. Cancel. I the wrong button. I can't play against Sparky. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't bear the humiliation. 04 vs. Sparky. Uh, it's, it's fun when things go off the rails, you know? If things were on the rails... Would it even be fun? Would it even, would it even be fun? Alright. Sparky's too good. Sparky... My lifetime record against Sparky is 0-4. Damn, Sparky. Formation? Um, I think that Ajani and Loxodon are better than Formation. I think. I'm not sure. This is a very... This is probably the most experimental deck that I built. Um... It may be awful, but we're going to try it, see what happens. Sounds good. Waka Waka, in full effect. It honestly is more experimental than the Walker meme deck, because the Walker deck at least had a, a combo plan with powerful cards in it. 
Okay. Um, they're playing Esper Control and they're playing Wrath of Gods. That's really, really bad for us. We could Pelt Collector Huatli's Raptor here. We get to make a 3-3 Pelt Collector. And there's a Johnny next turn. Yeah. The Rex. Um, donation button's below. Yes, Pelt, Pelt Collector into Huatli is very good. So I want the, yeah, this to go on first. Yeah, the counter, then proliferate. Welcome aboard. And then a giant next turn. L, O, L. Will we? Will we actually beat the Sparky Curse? Goober, thanks for the resub, you're awesome. And then, uh, TSI, weren't you 2,000, not 200? Thanks for the thanks donation, appreciate that. Chat, let's get some hype for some bogles. Lost Jim Goober, Jim Goober, Jim Goober. Alright, um, so I don't want to go insane as far as extending into a wrath here, but I do need to put some pressure on. I guess it's fine. Play our third creature. There's no life gain for a Johnny's Pride Mate. Alright, so ideally no Wrath next turn. Alright, I mean that's bad for us obviously. Why are you so, like, chill, Johnny, when you look so mean in your picture? Melvin. Alright. Yeah, I mean, beating Wrath of Gods is pretty hard, honestly. Uh... I want to get the apparition in play. I think we're just champ. We're just shoving everything. We're not going to bother like with a counter on the pill collector. Go ahead, wrath me again. See if I care. Right. Yeah, I mean, I I don't think we can beat. Uh, Yeah, we're just gonna concede. Alright. Let's sideboard. Alright, so we're gonna bring in, bring in um, a Johnny and Grove Chamber Guardians and Harpooners. We're gonna cut some of the cute stuff because they just have a bunch of Wrath of Gods. Uh, Loxodon's not great. Um, we can cut, like, probably Chamber Sentries. And that's yeah. Then possible we want to have uh we want to have unbreakable formation here. Good thing is the ladder just reset, so we're back in platinum four. We can dunk off some uh you know. Ladder points with our, uh, because we can't get moved down, so. Alright. 
I mean. Uh, thanks to the host. Um, I'm gonna keep. Just get lucky and draw land. I just can't. We can't mulligan against the Wrath deck. Tilt. We draw a land, uh. We get to Hawatley's Raptor and make three threes, which is pretty cool. Did not draw the land. Alright. Well, I wish it's gonna be over fast, you know? Man, tilt. <sighs> Fun, please. It's like they have the wrath and just they don't even need to wrath. It's pretty gross. Watley's Raptor. Sure. I guess that probably means no wrath, right? Go to Guardians of a Cyborg for, for matchups like this. Wrath me. Do it. No, alright. Damn it. Maybe they have nothing. Right? Right? Maybe? New Gideon. Um, we're a little heavier on green, I think. That could be a good sideboard card for a matchup like this, though. A deck like this will just too easily pick apart our synergies. Because they're actually literally just all removal spells and Wrath of Gods. So. Okay. Okay. Two turn clock. They only have one card in hand. Almost high horse tracker. Almost. What's the last what's the last card? Come on upon it. Let's go. Ah. Sure. Sorry I'm late. L! 313 sub, welcome back, my friend. You're all great. Thanks so much for your subs. Welcome back. Home from my vacation. You all great. Why they tuck that and not tuck locks it on? Well, you drew a land. Um, maybe hold the land in our hand. This is still a two turn clock, so. Alright. 
Alright, well. Two turn clock ahoy, I guess. Brick, 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 brick. Taste it! Woo! We're gonna win. We're not gonna win. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah. Probably the literal worst possible matchup, and we're about to win it. That is awesome. I think I gained some weight from the crews. These shorts feel a little small. Well, I've always to say it's bad we don't draw my, my counter stuff, but I, my deck's entirely counter stuff, so we just happen to draw none of it. Like, proliferating every turn is very, very good. Sure. Holy crap, dude. Thanks for following everyone. Alright. Growth Chamber Guardian's good. Yeah, it's fun. Team Esper, boo, boo. As I go. Khan's Bastion. Thanks for following. If you haven't followed with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Tons of decks to play today. All very exciting. New War of a Spark brews. And 9 out of 10 of them actually work. Sure. Alright, let's draw a Planeswalker. That's not a Planeswalker. Why do I have so many lands? Oh man, come on. You're killing me, Smalls. Not at end so far. I mean, I'm pretty sure the rest of them work, so... I think Pledge of Unity is just worse than uh, worse than uh, Unbreakable Formation. We're not, we're not even playing that card, so no artifact deck today. Nope. Oh, what a tilt! Watley's Raptor. I think we're just shoving. All right, just don't wrath me. We have lethal next turn. They've been an absorb. They have a wrath. We're dead. What are you gonna do? Definitely a few too many lands here. That's interesting. Oh, that's bad. Alright. I mean, like, 
That's not that bad. Another raptor. We're just not drawing our our like our tokeny stuff, you know. We're drawing the payoffs, not the uh, actual counter things. There's a reason we're playing like eight copies of crappy X X creatures that make come up with counters. It's like all those should have been pumped like a bunch of times already. We we're not drawing any of them. Um, attacking Liliana's like. Ugh, probably necessary. They just draw a card. It goes to. Just, uh, maybe unbreakable is good. We attack them. They just chump block anyway and go to five, and they can then they, then they can just minus Liliana next turn. Eh, you know what? I think I'm gonna attack them. I mean, I didn't play a land because I actually kind of wanted them to not block like that because I feel like it would be a better chance to win if there are two. Um, if I if I play a land and prolifer proliferate twice, they just chump block the Knight of Autumn. Maybe that's better. I kind of like wanted them to do it like this. Um, now if they have a single kill spell, I guess we're in trouble. And been absorb. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe by forcing them a chump block, I make them, uh... We get to have one more creature in place. Now if they have one kill spell, it's better. Yeah. Might have been a mistake. I mean... Now I can just play complaints that draw all lands, though, so... If six in the bin, yeah, alright. Alright, I mean... Beating the Wrath of God deck seems pretty tough. That's fine. I don't really... I'm not really mad about it. Right, let's try again. Try again. Pollen bright, pollen, pollen bright druid may be correct. This works. The explore package? Maybe. That obviously is all counter based. That could definitely be a thing. What's up, Chip? Yes, Wrath of God. We we may have said we can't beat Wrath a few times that match, and then you cast Wrath of God, and then we lost. Um it's possible that the that the evolution the the explore package is just better than what we're playing, for sure. Um It's possible that Unbreakable is just better than Loxodon, too, honestly. Maybe Loxodon just isn't good. Alright. Yeah, Loxodon seems kind of bad, actually. Maybe this deck is just built horribly wrong. Uh, I think we're at an impulse here, actually. I don't, don't want to cast that illusion stage. I want to cast a different creature. Cool. Well, thankfully, all of our cards suck. So if they steal them, it doesn't really matter. Um... Alright, we're just going to venerate Loxodon here and say go without making a land drop. No, we're going to make a land drop. 
Yeah, I think that Loxodon's terrible in this deck. Okay. That's why we're brewing, you know? Part of brewing is trying out new things, and a lot of them aren't going to work. Most things fail in deck building. So... The good thing here, honestly, is that, like, while I'm joking that all of our cards are bad, all of our cards are actually kind of bad because they're all meant to work together. Any one individual card from our deck shouldn't be that good. You know, like, an Ugin's Conjurant or, like, a Grateful Apparition and so on. So... Sure. Okay, uh, we're, yeah, we're a few short of that. Alright, um... This isn't terrible. Go on. Take an Ugin's Ugin Conjurant. You can have it. Alright, they took a card over Adventurer's Impulse. Disinformation Campaign, sure. It's actually kind of annoying because we want our land, but that's fine. Heh! <laughs> that's a powerful card. God damn it. Alright. I could have saged, landed, yeah, I could have. But I thought it'd be better to pump these, eh, maybe not. I'm not sure, honestly. I mean, land or spell and they're dead, pretty much. We were one, I think we were one short. I don't, I don't really know. A lot of ways to build this deck, too. It can be blue-green. There's like the 4-4 four, four that draws a card when you have a creature with a counter on it. There's a the blue-green merfolk. Comes into play, puts a counter on something. Like... Discovery? Yeah, I mean, they're just, they're just dead, I think. Sure. Oh, they get the raptor combo. That's cute. We just have some very large creatures, though. Drawing a land is great. Drawing a spell is fine. Sure. Come and get you. They have to, they have to block all the big things if they die. Yeah, the Merfolk is cool. I think Venerated Loxon just isn't very good, despite it kind of like winning us this game. Maybe the Explore Package is a better way to do it. It's all the cards. Are... The problem is, whenever you build a Synergy deck, the question is, are the cards you're playing worth the Synergy? You know, because you can't play cards that are super weak and that have a good payoff. Like, for example, Affinity in Modern, you're playing Memnite, which is a terrible magic card, and Ornithopter, but you're also playing Cranial Plating and Arcbound Ravager, which are good payoffs. So, is the payoff good enough to support the the theme cards, you know? And we could easily be just green-white explore package and just like cut the Apparition, cut the Knight of Autumn, cut the Loxodon, and cut like some of the crappy creatures and just play the explore package. Still play a Johnny, Johnny's insane. Uh, but yeah, so they're they're a, um, a removal-based deck. We're gonna cut the Apparitions and bring in the Grow Chamber Guardians and the Harpooners. Um, Night of Autumn seems bad here. Also, do I want Baffling End? I don't think I even care that much about um about the Sanity, honestly. I'm gonna bring in my Johnny's. I'm gonna cut a Loxodon and two of the crappy one drops. Um. And let's try this. No, nah, no Tesseract deck today. So don't worry, I'll be brewing a lot more fun decks. So, 
Yeah, Ugin's counter is much worse than I thought. I thought it was actively good. It's actively, like, not great. It just makes me sad, but... Sure. One ball against the six. Alright. Uh, that's a little awkward, but alright. Almost whiffed there. That would have been bad. We're not drawing our, our poopers enough, you know? Harpooner. Like, I don't want to play Raptor by itself. I guess I'm just playing this Harpooner. That kind of sucks. We need, we need Arcbound Worker, not Ugin's Conjurant. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, sure. Heh! <laughs> they snapped that one off. Alright, I mean... It's not exactly how a deck's supposed to work, but... Johnny is good. Uh, okay, that's fine. Got scared for a second. Walking Ballista. Yeah, that one will be pretty good. No lie there. Yeah, I think I like the idea of the Explore package. I like that, I like that a lot. That's probably a better way to build it. I'll definitely I'll, I'll build that. I'll work on that one. That's how you're supposed to do it, right? You just, like, play the full retail on Venerated Loxodon. That's how it works, right? Be strong. Works for me. Why not attack and then tap Raptor? It's, yeah, it's better, I guess. Sure. Uh, that's what's one less damage for one extra counter, and then that, that, they're still at ten. Yeah, it's better. Wonderbolt, six month reset. Welcome back, my friend. Who's laughing at Ugin's conjurant now? Six six for six. Damn, that's good. You are capable of more than you assume. This is gonna ultimate next turn? Yeah, let's just kill Nickel Bolas. If they get to untap and like kill something and then draw a card, things get really awkward. Yeah, winding constrictor obviously good. Pro proliferate is your, your constrictor though, so there we go. I feel like our deck I we haven't really had a good draw yet either. I haven't, like, what I pictured in my head when I built the deck hasn't really happened yet. Maybe it'll never happen, but... Needs more Endless One? Yeah. Yeah. No. We're playing the the X X the X mana cost creatures because they are one ones for one with a counter on them, so you get to immediately proliferate on them, which is pretty great. We're playing best of three, Barack Obama. The yeah, S card sucks. Alright, so let's just draw a land next turn. So we can go Pelt Collector, 2-2 two, 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 two Sentry.
Okay. Oh crap! Yeah, that, that's how this card works, isn't it? Shit. All right. Whatever. Yeah, this card's bad. Not my chamber sentry. White land? God. No white land. Deafening Clarion. No. No white land either. Alright. No! Put the top three cards of your library and the bottom of your library in any order. Every time. This card sucks. We did it! Um, okay. I know it's a 4 3 night of autumn. They're not. And Blast Zone. Looking forward to playing that card, too. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold on, here he comes. Watch out, boy. No, no Deferi. Alright. This card sucks. The idea of it repeating seemed really nice to me, but the the upfront cost of needing it to be in play for an entire turn cycle before it, it proliferates just seems too bad. Raptor and the 3-2 are much better. Morale's Outburst. <sighs> Definitely not a good draw so far. That's for sure. Everyone's main decking this card. I do not think this is a main deck card. That's not bad. Um... Obviously, if they have some sort of Wrath of God, we're in trouble, but... Alright. Alright, they have Absorb. Tilt. Yeah, I think this card's a sideboard card. People, people, are, people are, are putting this card in their main deck over and over again. It's not a main deck card, I don't think. Sabotage, sure. Here, Google spells. Might be a bad idea. Adorable. They're bouncing their own Augur Ball so they can cast it again and put the top three cards of her library into the bottom of their library again. Oh, they hit one. All right, we're going to go to the next game here. Yeah, we're not going to win this game. Even drawing the land, we're just like a mile behind here. So Another control deck. That's bad for us. Um, the Johnny, Road Chamber Guardians... I got the Apparitions, cut the Knight of Autumns, and cut... Ooh, I've been right lost, that's actually pretty good against them. 
We'll cut, uh, we'll cut one stinker. Maybe, maybe we should shouldn't cut the stinker. Maybe, maybe we're just not drawing enough stinkers. That's part of the problem. Eight. Let's cut it. Alright, we'll cut a stinker. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of control decks right now floating around, and a lot of a lot of a lot of removal spells and stuff too. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I want to try the explore version of a deck. Maybe I'll build that and play it later in the stream. Like, just build it real quick. I have to replace my 10th deck because I one of my decks didn't work. So. <clears throat> Plus, the, if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. I'm playing 10 different War of a Spark decks today. 10 different brews. Uh, yeah, sure. That can be deck 10. Raptor. Um, hmm. Kind of like Growth Chamber Guardian. Now nah, just Raptor. Let's get our beats on. Pretty good aggro draw. Alright. Deafening Clarion's a real card. Yeah, maybe I should play, should play the Grow Chamber Guardian. Actually, plays around Deafening Clarion better. Alright. I'm going to play Pelt Collector. Because if I draw a land, I can I can Evolution Change and then Proliferate, and it's insane. If they have Deafening Clarion, it's really bad, but I have ways to rebuild from that anyway. I draw a land, I can cast a Johnny. Just buy back creature immediately. There's our land. Hmm. And they have every counter spell in the world up right now. I'm definitely not casting a Johnny. Um do I still cast Evolution Sage? That is the question. Honestly, them countering Sage isn't even that bad. You know, just do it. There are 12. They take 6 and we have Lethal on the board, so like, if we... If they have a counter spell and a kill spell, this makes them counter this. So they can't kill something and then they're dead on board. Alright, cool. This is fine. Um, we're gonna play the land. So if we if they wrath us, if we draw a land, we can just guardian pump it immediately. Blast zone. Blast zone is kind of good against us. Um. All right. Alright, so now you have a creature that is four toughness, so it can't be killed by Deafening Clarion, or the the Ral's Eryx Lightning Bolt. And we have a Johnny in play. We have Grow Chamber Guardian in our hand. There's the Outburst. Alright. So they're gonna go to one here? No, they're dead. Death Trigger on the, on the Pell Collector. You dead. Cool, cool. Okay.
deck's playing out different than I thought it would. I thought with all the one drops, that we'd be like one drop, one drop, one drop, locks it on, kind of like white weenie. But it just hasn't played out like that once yet. Uh, this hand might. Up, put the top three on the bottom. They actually had a choice that time? Wow. Oh man, a Johnny was a really good draw. Uh, just awesome. Sure. Sorry, I'm late. Sure. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Um, resolving a Johnny here is pretty nice. Playing Loxodon's also pretty nice, though. But I can always play Loxodon later, I guess. Because a Johnny means that I get to have three threes next turn. Yeah. I think it's a Johnny. I don't know, honestly. Four four is good. Yeah, maybe we just play better rated locks it on. The thing is, getting the 4-4 the in play is pretty huge. That's more like it. Why did they board out to Fairy? I don't know. I ain't them. Now they have the Ralzeric thing. So I think we slam a Johnny now. If they counter it, it's fine. We kill to Fairy. Attack them for a lot. Have backup copies anyway. So, they can, like, block Loxodon and then outburst it. And then maybe mop up with a Deafening Clarion next time. But, like, we have so much stuff in our hand anyway. I think it's fine. We're going to do this. They want to chump block to keep the fairy alive. It's fine by me. Is everyone playing all these Wrath of Gods? Alright, we're dead. Yeah. If only we were playing Wild Growth Walker, it wouldn't have died to it, you know? Alright. I, mean, I guess we can keep battling. Like, we have. Grow Chamber Guardian, plus it immediately. Too many control decks. Too many Wrath of Gods. We need to move quickly. No, I am not making this up as I go. That's enough out of you, all right? Yeah, unbreak information seems good. All 
Oh my god, the auger bolts for light of a lava coil? Alright, fine. You win. Whatever. You got it. I thought our four fours were look, look, looking pretty good there, but. Alright. Too many rats. We took a game off both control decks, but. Like, we're playing essentially 16 one-drops, just like White Weenie. So in my head, it was like, we'd be going one-drop, 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 locks it on pretty often. It's just, like, not happening, though. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna mulligan. All right. Oh boy, okay. Um. That's a problem. We uh, can't kill that one. I think we just bide the turn and just like Sentry for two, attack, and then set up a raptor next turn. Oh, that means that po this is only going to be a 3-3. Three, three. And you know what? We'll just play, let's play the raptor. Creatures! Heh. <laughs> Alright. Well. I think this deck's a failed experiment, but that's okay. Keep Ermulligan this deck. About that. All right. Mono red, a baffling end, Lyra. Got the apparitions and maybe a sage. I was thinking Johnny might be fine. Eh, I'll just try this. Do I have a Kefnet brew with Demir of Mass Cards? Nah, I played a little Kefnet. Kefnet's kind of unimpressed me. Hmm. Lyra on five. this on a non steam can non chain whirler creature I'm just gonna say go yeah 
Yeah. I get it. I understand. Oh, yeah. What are you kidding me? Oh, auto tapper, come on. We can't choose different colors of mana? Really? Oh. It didn't matter actually, but Well, they're almost out of cards, so maybe we'll get lucky and they just can't beat Lyra. Suck it, nerd. They could deal with Lyra. Spoiler. Alright, this deck blue. That's okay, though. Um, never really came together the way I thought it would, honestly. Uh, like I said, like, even if it's not good, we are playing 4, 8, 12. It was 16 one-drops. Like, how I many is, is what we need to play? Like, you know? They play what? They play 4, 8, 12, 16. They play 19 one-drops. So only three more. So I figured we were going to have a lot of games. We just went, like... You know, turn one, Ugin's Conjurant, tur turn two, Pelk Collector, Ugin's Conjurant, turn three, you know, two drop Loxodon, turn four, uh, Proliferate, Proliferate, or whatever, you know, like, that never really happened, obviously. Um, and then, of course, the Master Mool spells were a big problem, too. But, this deck sucks. Miss card sucks. Um, deck sucks, too, I guess, Freudian Slip. But, Proliferate is a really, really powerful mechanic. And we're going to work on this more. Um, maybe it wants to be an explore package, which is just already, like, good cards. And then top it off with the Sage, the Raptor, and a Johnny. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll work on this one. We'll work on this one for sure. All right? Uh, but, yeah, so you two folks, look for our other decks. Ten decks this stream. And there's going to be information with the full deck list and my thoughts on all ten decks in the article on Cool Stuff Inc. on Friday, uh, Friday the 2nd, 3rd? Friday, May 3rd, for watching on YouTube. YouTube, folks, subscribe. We'll see you later.